So today we got our first look at the rookies in from our draft class actually playing football for us. So today is rookie minicamp. This is only a one day event for us. Obviously, other teams, you know, it's different lengths of time. Ours is only one day. And this is a one day to show us, like, hey, listen, this is what the guys look like. They're going to go out there, stretch, process a little bit, and that's pretty much it. Obviously, we then, you know, conclude with OTAs, mini camp, and then obviously training camp. But this is our first chance to just take a look at all the rookies we just drafted. It's right after the draft, around, what, 20 days after the draft. So, Nice little chance to take a look at these players. Nonetheless, though, shout out to Michael on Twitter for posting this. But our first video here is going to be a non-quarterback throwing the ball. Yeah, no, this is like the intro. This is like stretching. So what they do first off is they do stretching. They run back and forth just like this. They stretch it out and they get ready for the, you know, the upcoming day pretty much. This is the morning, Friday morning stretch. Um, and then we have Frank Pollock gets his work in with first rounder Amarius Mims. Don't you touch him. You better not even touch him, Frank. Don't. Get away. Get away. Okay. Sorry. A little personal there. A little personal. A little personal. Anyway, Jermaine uh, Burton catches, pa his, catches passes in his first Bengals workout Friday. So... He's all the way over here. You can see this is like a, it's a, it's a good distance away. Okay, they're a good distance away from the thing, which makes sense. I mean, media can't be like literally three inches from the rookies when the rookies are trying to process and you know get their stuff going. So McKinley Jackson and Chris Jenkins gets their first process with the Bengals Friday. Okay, interesting. And, ooh, okay, okay. Got some speed to him. I mean, obviously, you know, they're just running on drills here. But still, got some speed to him. I'm excited for both of them. I'm really excited to add them to our defensive line and see how they can help out our defensive line this upcoming season. I think both of them are going to have really good years. Um, obviously, I think Chris Jenkins a little bit better. Way better, actually. But McKinley Jackson has some high upside as well. Uh, Josh Newton works out, uh, worked for Charles Burks and Jordan uh, Kovax. Okay. Hold up. I'm trying to do this without the audio. Audio just automatically starts going. All right. So, what kind of drills are these? Oh, I know what this kind of drill. So, 33 is just kind of going around in circles here, and he's a jump scare. Check this out. So, this is kind of like a jump scare. You're looking at 28, right? You're looking at 39. And out of nowhere, right? 33. Yeah. So that's pretty much that. Again, it's not like intense workouts. They're not going out there and, you know, going crazy with the workouts. But I'm still very excited. Birthday boy, Zach Taylor. Yup, it's his birthday. Shout out to Zach Taylor, man. Uh, he gets his first work with the new rookies on Friday. Man, I'm... I'm really excited. I'm really excited for the draft class. I feel like I'm not as excited as last year's draft class. Just because last year's draft class, I think, was like... It was like magical, it felt like. Everyone made the roster. Everyone was, you know... Looked like they were going to be absolute gems. And a lot of them did end up becoming gems. But I feel like this year's draft class, I'm not as excited. But I'm still excited. Right? I'm still happy. I'm so excited to see these guys. And see how these guys help us out for the foreseeable future. But... Guys, tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. I'll see you guys in the next one.